our DIY operation game today, you have a take and make kit that you picked up here at Do Space. And inside that kit, you'll have a list of everything that should be in it. And including in that kit will be an LED light. There will be a battery holder, two AA batteries for the battery holder, a buzzer, two different alligator clips or two different colors of alligator clips, tweezers, some crayons, electrical tape, aluminum foil. Some things that you will need is a box, a thin box that's thin cardboard, like a snack box, granola box, things like that, maybe even a cereal box, some scissors, and some tape. Your kit will also include a robot template, but you don't necessarily need to use that. You could also make your own. And you'll also need some small things to pick up with your tweezers for the operation game. So you'll need to have your box. Again, you need a thin box, um, not a card, like a, a cardboard box, but not like a thin, uh, thick shipping box. It needs to be thin enough to easily cut because you're gonna be cutting it a little bit and cutting into it. So I have just like a snack box, um, what's called chipboard. We are needing it to be big enough for either your template that came with your kit of the robot, so wide enough for it to fit, and then also tall enough for it to fit. Otherwise, you can open it up on its seam, and when you're opening it, the inside of your box should be blank, should just be white, and if you'd like, you can just draw your own picture on it. You can make any kind of character you want um, that fits on it, or again, you can use the template, or you can actually even make your print off your own template for your own character, whatever you would like. So the next thing we need to get our character onto our box that we're gonna be operating on. Again, um, if you're making your own, you can open it up to the inside and draw your own. I'm going to be using the template that sh would be in your kit. You can color it with the crayons that are given to you, or you can use markers, you can use paint, anything that you have around to color your template or to draw your own onto the box. When you're finished decorating, um, if you're using the template, I'm gonna actually cut mine down so that it fits on my box that I have. I'm gonna cut the top and the sides so that I can easily tape it and I know that it'll fit on my box, either on the inside or the outside, whichever you wanna do. You could also cut all the way around. I'm gonna be leaving the blank space, but if you wanted to cut the details out, you absolutely could and tape that on your box. So now I'm gonna be placing it onto the kind of printed side so that we can easily do the circuit on the inside. All it needs is a few pieces of tape on the corners just to secure it onto your box so it doesn't go anywhere. This will also be helpful when we're making the holes, the operation holes for the game. Next, we're gonna be making those operation holes. So if you are using scissors, make sure you have a grown-up available to help out. I'm gonna be doing a, about three. I'm gonna be doing one on the hand, one on the foot, and one kind of in his tummy area. You wanna make sure it's on the lower half of its body because we're gonna be making the circuit on the upper half. So go ahead and with your scissors or maybe something that's a little bit sharp, uh, make out the holes that are gonna be your operation holes that you'll be grabbing your small objects out of. If you're needing help, ask a grown-up, ask an older sibling, an older friend who can help you make these holes. And you just wanna make sure um, if you wanna make them challenging, you can make them smaller. If you wanna make it a little bit easier, you can make the circles bigger or the openings bigger, um, or you can have a mixture of sizes. Just make sure that you, you know they're big enough to be able to get small objects out of. Next, we are going to be adding our LED, and the best way to do that is to take your tweezers and just make two little holes on where you want to place your LED. I'm gonna be putting my LED kind of where his nose would be, and so I just made two little holes with the tweezers so that they can easily be put into the box. 
So what is an LED? An LED is a little light bulb that is a polarized component. So each of these have a leg, and we know that the longer leg is its positive leg, and the shorter leg is its negative leg. So just like our batteries are negative and positive, so are LEDs. And so we are going to be wanting to make sure that we're connecting the long leg or the positive leg to the positive side of our battery holder, and our negative leg or short leg to the negative side. This is going to be really important. So when you place your LED where you want it to in your box, on the back side we want to mark which is our positive leg and which one is our negative leg. And so you can easily just look to see which one's longer and then mark that one with a plus sign or a positive sign and then mark the short one with a negative sign or a minus sign. And you'll want to spread them apart. Next, we're going to place our foil. So we, again, we want that on the lower half. We want to make sure it covers all of our holes and it's on the lower half of our box. If you want to cut off the kind of the flaps of the box, you're more than welcome to, but you don't have to. So I'm just going to cut a piece that will fit on my lower half of my box and place it over the holes and then just tape that down. To secure it, I'm going to be taping just the corners. We want to make sure that there are um, some exposed spaces of foil that's not covered in tape because that's going to be important for our conductivity and for our circuit to be complete. Then you can see the holes, where the holes will be the foil. Just take your scissors and kind of place a little slit where each of those holes will be. And this is so that you can kind of from the back side press up up the foil towards your picture and kind of wrap the foil around those holes. You want to make sure that when your tweezer goes in, it has that metal, that conductive metal or conductive aluminum that it touches so that if you were to touch the edge of your holes, your light and your buzzer will alarm. So you want to make sure as much of the foil is kind of surrounding the edges of your holes. So just press those down as best as you can. Next, we are going to be making the circuit, which will create the buzzing sound and the light to go off when it is complete. So the first thing we are going to add onto the back of our box is the battery holder. The battery holder is going to be going on the top part of your box above your foil. So you can already go ahead and put your AA batteries in. Remember that our batteries are polarized. So there is a positive terminal and a negative terminal. So making sure that those are uh, in the right spot. And our red wire is our positive wire and our black wire is our negative wire. So that's going to be really important to note um, when we're connecting it to the buzzer and to the LED. So go ahead and tape your battery holder onto your box, making sure that it is nice and secure. Next, we're going to take our alligator clips and we're going to be attaching one. You have two different colors. I have a red one and a green one but you may have two different other colors. So assign whichever color you want to be the positive wire and attach it to your red wire of your battery holder. So my alligator clip is red, so I'm gonna clip that to the red wire of my battery holder and kind of twist, making sure that the alligator clip part, the metal part is clipped to the exposed wire and not just the insulation, not the red insulation around it, and then kind of wrapping the insulated part around around your alligator clip. The second end of that is going to be your tweezers. So you can actually just go ahead and clip the end of your tweezers to the other end of your alligator clip. Next, we are going to attach the black wire, which is our negative wire, and get that attached to our negative leg of our LED. Now to do that, we need two pieces of foil. And so you can go ahead and cut just two little pieces of your foil off. And um, one's gonna be going over your positive leg and one's gonna be going over your negative leg. So you can put the one that for your positive leg to the side. Now, 
we wanna make sure that the foil is only covering and touching that negative leg of our wire. So if it, yours is a little big, you can uh, fold it in half or just fold it so it's just only covering and touching the negative leg. And we wanna tape that on, but making sure that you're not covering the entire part of the foil, just maybe covering the ends of it. Now again, you want to make sure that your foil is not touching the other or positive leg of your LED. So if you need to kind of fold that onto itself so it's only covering the negative leg, go ahead and do that and tape that on. Again, making sure there is exposed foil for us to attach our black wires and all of our different other components to it. Now you can take the black wire and making sure that the exposed wiring that is not in the insulation, that plastic you know, part that's covering the wire, we want that exposed wire to be touching the foil onto our negative leg. So you can take some of your electrical tape and just cut off a little bit so that when you are taping it down, it's taping, you're taping it directly onto that foil, making sure there's a nice good connection. Next, we are gonna take our buzzer. And again, our buzzer is also polarized. So it has two different poles, a negative pole and a positive pole as well. Again, it is important to uh, make sure our negatives are touching our negatives and our positives are touching our positives. So we're taking our black wire and we're also going to be taping that to uh, the foil that is connected to our negative LED leg. So take a little bit of, of your electrical tape and tape that, making sure that again, there's a good connection and that the exposed wire of your buzzer is nicely touching the foil and tape that onto that foil as well, making sure it is nice and secure. Next, we're gonna be covering the positive leg of our LED with a piece of foil. And again, I'm folding it in half just to make sure that it's only covering the leg of the LED and not touching any other foil parts, not touching the negative foil or touching the foil from below on the bottom part of our box and taping it down so only the ends are taped down and there's still exposed foil. And then we can, making sure that the red wire of our buzzer is completely touching and uh, connected to the positive foil of our positive LED leg and taping that down with some electrical tape as well, making sure that there's a nice good connection when you're taping it down, that the exposed wire of the red wire of the buzzer is touching the foil of our positive LED leg. Next, we're gonna take our other alligator clip. So this is going to be kind of our positive, another positive path for our, for our circuit. So we are going to need to clip the alligator clip onto that positive foil that we, that covers our positive LED leg and then clip the other side to the foil that is on the lower part where the operation game is going to be connected. So here you have it. This, it should be your completed circuit. When you take your tweezers, you should be able to touch the foil and your circuit will be complete. How does this circuit work? So basically the electricity or the electrons that are stored in the batteries are going to be traveling and taking kind of two different paths. There are two different branches. There's one for the buzzer and one for the LED. The electricity is traveling down the black wire of the battery holder to the LED. That's also traveling to the buzzer as well. When our circuit is complete, and the tweezers touch the foil, it is completing our circuit. Basically, our tweezers are acting as a switch and completing the circuit. So when the tweezers touch the foil, the electricity is going through all the negative paths and allowing it to go through our outputs, which is our buzzer and our LED, and then traveling through our positive paths back to the battery, allowing for the LED and the light to light up. So now the last thing you need to do is just test it out. See if you can successfully grab something, a small item, without making your buzzer buzz and your light go off on your operation game. 
things to troubleshoot. If you're touching your foil with your tweezers and your LED or your buzzer isn't going off, making sure that the legs of your LED are correctly marked, that the short leg, the negative leg is marked negative and the long leg or the positive leg is marked positive. Make sure that your connections are really secure, that everything is taped down, and that all the conductive or the items that allow electricity to pass through it are really connected well. Thanks for joining us for this Do Space Summer Take and Make. We'd love to see your version. Take a picture or video and share with us on social media or email us at programs at dospace.org. Make sure to go to dospace.beanstack.org to mark that you created this Take and Make.